Hey everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Nice Sunday here in Lower Alabama. By the time you're watching this, I hope everybody's either getting ready for a very uh, productive week or have already started a very productive week. I'm ready to get going. Nothing, uh, nothing about Monday bothers me. Hey, I'm wearing a tank top today. Just wanted to remind people, like I just tend to wear my shirts that I have, but there's tank tops. Summer's here. There's tank tops for men and women in, all, in every design we have in the store. Basically, when I put the designs in the store, I put them on. I've got them available in t-shirts, tank tops, long sleeve, and a few in hoodies. By next winter, I'll have everything in hoodies. Uh, hats too. So anyhow, go check it out. I'll put a link to this particular one, Powered by Plants, down below. Um, this morning we're going to talk about hydration with hydrate with nutrition on a raw food diet. I do videos every day, so if you haven't already done it, would you please hit that subscribe button now? Then click on the little bell and check send notifications so they'll keep you subscribed to the channel. I like to just kind of let uh, videos sometimes flow organically. Um, there was a time when I used to, uh, you know, I'd, I'd make four or five or six and have them already stacked up ahead, but I'm a little bit more spontaneous now. I like to keep, uh, I like to keep them in real time a lot of the time, and a lot of times I just like to share what I'm getting in the moment, what comes up in the moment, what I'm experiencing in the moment, because that's fresh experience. And this hydration thing, man, I'm telling you, with the summer here, you got to hydrate. Now, first thing I'm going to tell you is hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. I don't care how you hydrate. There's preferable ways to hydrate, but don't get too caught up in that. You'll get these batshit crazy people out there that will sit and have debates for days on water. Should it be non-iodized water? Should it be triple reverse this or that? Should I get my priest to put a couple of drops of holy water in there? Maybe the rabbi to bless it. Boom. Just hydrate yourself. You know, and sometimes uh, it, I always find, and I'm really finding that, ergo the reason for this video, that I just get an extra bang. I get so much better hydration. I feel so much better when I hydrate with the food and the juices rather than with just simply drinking water. But don't fall into a trap that I used to fall into. I'm not, I go through phases on water. I sometimes really like it. Sometimes I just don't have any interest in it. And I used to be, I would be not properly hydrated because I didn't think I had the right water. I didn't have good enough water. I didn't have this water. Or I should be doing something else. I really should be hydrating with the juice or whatever. So that indecision, instead of doing just something, I would do nothing. So I wouldn't be hydrated. So now I just make sure I stay hydrated, especially here in the summer because these summers are brutal. Brutal. I had a couple of times last year when I went to Pensacola, like in July and August, where I just had headaches and, and, and you know, I thought I was hydrating through the day. So you got to hydrate. And today I have not had a drop of water since I woke up and it is probably, I didn't look at the clock. I'm going to guesstimate it's around 1130, getting close to noon. And I'll tell you why. And I'll tell you how I hydrated. Um, I had um, the last two mornings, I've been having two of them. I've been having watermelon juice a lot. I've been eating watermelon. Um, but this morning I made some juice. So I had 32 ounces of ice cold juice because my melon had been in the fridge overnight. And then when I was done with that, I just couldn't stop. So I went back in and dug some more out of that melon and had 32 more ounces. I'm telling you, when you're having cold watermelon juice, the biggest problem with the cold watermelon juice is it just goes too fast. You can't keep it because it's just so good. I mean, it's really, really good. So I had two, so we got 64 ounces of watermelon juice in me by, gosh, probably before, but no, I got up a little bit later this morning, probably about 8.30, I had 64 ounces of uh, watermelon juice in me. So I take off, I go out for my morning walk, uh, go down to the park. Didn't have a super long walk today as some of my walks go, but good walk. Had so much energy. I, I bounce these days. I don't walk. I stroll like a king when I'm walking, man. I bounce. I bounce and I bounce with purpose because I'm I'm hydrated and I'm energized. Which got me to thinking about the this video today. Because okay, I had the watermelon juice, went on my walk, came back, was very, very tempted to have another 32 ounces of watermelon juice, which I have here. I've got, oh God, I got I forgot how much melon. I got another about a quarter in the fridge and a full melon in the back seat. 
really thought about it. Would have been good, but I'm like, nah, I got to start getting some calories, man. I'm, my body's just a furnace. It's burning everything. And if I don't get my calories in, I drop weight. So I decided the next best thing. So I had bananas and mangoes. Well, now those mangoes are high water content too. So boom, noon. I haven't had a drop of water and I'm going to the gym as pretty soon as it opens. It opens around one on Sunday. I don't know if I'll have any, what I probably will. I think I'm gonna have a green smoothie before I go to get some more calories, some more nutrition in. But the little bit of water in my green smoothie will be the only water I've had and I'm very, very uh, hydrated. So let's get down to some of these summer fruits and just put them into perspective a little bit. So I've always said, you know, get a double bang, you know, by the, I think the, the fruits hydrate you better, the, the high water content fruits hydrate you better than water anyway. Plus, you're actually getting some nutrition. You know, water is just water, doesn't have nutrition. Watermelon. All right, and this is about 280 grams of watermelon, which I've looked up and it kind of translates to about nine ounces. And it's not a lot of watermelon. Um, but even in that, it's high in vitamin A, it's high in vitamin C. It's got a, a decent, it's, it's got pretty good a bit of magnesium because you're going to need a lot more than that 280 grams. Um, uh, just that 280 gram serving has 8% of your daily needs of potassium. So that helps so much with that hydration. Little benefit for you out there. <coughs> if anybody deals with this, if you deal with, uh, you know, not quite being as firm as you would like, it's sort of a natural Viagra too because it contains this amino acid called citrulline, which relaxes and dilate, dilates the blood vessels. So you just got a winner there. I'm going to keep banging this message about watermelon, hydrating, nutrition, and... Let's face it, I know a lot of women in this community out there trying to get their husbands to be vegan. And when you're in your 40s and 50s and they're just giving you a hard time eating that garbage, eating all that meat, eating all that dairy, they may not be uh, measuring up in some way. So that might be another way to introduce this to other people with a different manner. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. All right, next, the mango. Mango's 83% water. Now, what I like about the mango, too, and that's why I went on to the mango, is the mango has a little bit more calories. You got about 200 calories in a medium mango. So, you know, whereas with the watermelon, you just got to eat and eat and eat and eat to get any calories. You're hydrating, you're getting nutrition, but plus I'm getting some uh, calories in with that one. But it's very, now the mangoes are a lot higher in fiber, obviously, because the water is mostly, watermelon's mostly water. So the mangoes are high in fiber. The vitamin A is off the charts. Uh, no, it's off the charts with vitamin C. A lot of vitamin A in there as well as um, with the watermelon, a good amount of potassium as well. So that potassium I'm noticing in these two is, is important. Uh, the second two are not, uh, not something I, well, one is not something I get as much and the other is something I'm not all that familiar with, but I am going to be. Another summer, um, and I'm trying to make it summer uh, fruits. Blueberries. Blueberries. Next month is the Blueberry Festival here where I live. They'll have like a Saturday event. They'll have all kind of stuff. And I really need to uh, get some ahead of time so I can make some blueberry nice cream and uh, share with some people. But the blueberries are 85% water. They've also got uh, plenty of fiber in them, full of vitamin C, and also have vitamin B6. B6, that one's important. Now the other one that I don't eat a lot of, but I'm gonna see if I can get some good ones and I'm gonna try, I'm going to try to work my magic or, or like work my knowledge of learning how to learn a fruit is peaches. I've never really eaten good peaches. I haven't eaten a lot of peaches. I've never had a lot of success with peaches, but I'm starting to see some Chilton County peaches from North Alabama. So peaches are just going to be more and more prevalent over the next, over the coming months. So I want to get into some peaches too. They're 92% um, water content, vitamin A, vitamin C, fiber. And what do they call them? They have some sort of a relation to a mango. I've even told people, if you can get peaches, but you can't get mangoes, I haven't tried this. This year I'm going to try it. Let's try making those, some of those salad dressings that I make with mango out of peaches. Maybe peaches, red pepper, see how it works. But once again, another hydrating fruit. And these are all like, I'm just sharing this from what I've got available right now and what should really be prevalent during the summer. 
I, I mean, if things keep going, this is May and I've had one good watermelon after another. If I have to search around a little bit, if I can keep watermelon going all summer, if these mangoes, which have been coming for the past three months, unless they just magically stop, um, I'll have that. I'm going to try and load up on blueberries. The local blueberries apparently disappear pretty quick, so I'm gonna make a few phone calls in the next few weeks. Um, got a couple of connections and see what I can do with that. And then I'm gonna try to start, uh, you know, buying peaches at different places, see how you pick a good peach. Everybody asks me on the fruit, how do you pick this? How do you find a good that? I don't know, I don't know. I don't, you know, I just, I'm very organic in what I do. It's taken me, and it sometimes things like picking a fruit can take me a lot longer than it takes other people to learn how to do it because it's just all experience. I can't give anything other than that. Pick up a lot. If you want to know how to pick a good papaya, pick up a lot of man, uh, papayas, touch a lot of papayas, smell a lot of papayas, experiment. Don't be afraid. Cut one after another open. And not, yeah, 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 I don't like papaya. You never had a good papaya. I said that for years. The same with all kind of fruit. You have to build that experience. Nobody's going to, come on, uh, Poindexter, nobody's going to write down a little chart. Okay, pick up the mango. It should be a 3.7 firmness. It should have this. Learn how, if you're going to live this lifestyle, you got to learn some of this stuff. You can't ask everybody, how do you do this? How do you do that? You gotta learn to pick your own fruit. That's something I'm quite proud that it took me a while, but I've, I've, I just got to be like a fruit whisperer. Towards the end of my time in Alawala, when I would go through that market in the morning, that market was like holy, it was serious. I could just, I could feel vibrations from different fruit, but anyhow, I'm getting a little too out there right now, so. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this one today. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it if you would share this video because it's summertime. Everybody needs to be aware of the hydration and be aware that you can hydrate with so many different things. And that watermelon, I'm telling you, get yourself those popsicle molds. It'll make it fun. When that, pop, when that watermelon's good, there ain't nothing better on earth. So see you guys tomorrow. Love you. Peace.